Hello, good morning. Did you miss me? So I am back. I was absent last week from my usual live because I had a horrible head cold. The kids gave me, um, we call it the lurgy here, but it was, it was vile. It was a head cold. So I'm still a little bit bunged up, um, but I'm so much better. Loads better than I was. And um, so, yeah, I still look a little bit bleh. And I had an awful night's sleep last night. Um, we'll name no names, but Andy, my other half. <laughs> so, um, I'm Connie from Faf Designs. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bowl Paint. And today, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. So, the piece that I'm working on is a mid-century piece. Um, it, it, it was, it was poorly. So, um, generally speaking, the pieces that I get are, um, broken or they've got water damage or something's wrong with them. So, um, this particular piece, Chris Donna, hello. Um, I'm going to upset you a little bit because I have changed my mind on the colour. So originally I was going to do hot pink. I was going to do mid-century hot pink and go a bit funky. However, we're still on the pink vibe, but um, it's not going to be hot pink. The reason being, I, start, I started sanding this, t this piece down. Um, originally, it was actually a dressing table. So a little mid-century, it's um, Schreiber, the, the name, the brand, the make. So originally, good morning, hi, I can see your names, I've got your horizontal, so the names are just flitting past. So hi, Patricia, hello, 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 thanks for watching. Hello, Estelle from France. Um, so originally, I started sanding this piece down, and like I say, it was just going to be hot pink and quite funky. So, oh, and I've also got a little a little stool on, 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 um, on wheels so i can wheel about now um instead of having to shuffle around on the floor which is you know i'm moving up in the world i've treated myself to a stool with wheels what can i say so um anyway <laughs> i sand started sanding the piece down and um okay trying to be dixie bell you are dixie bell you are commenting as dixie bell hi jackie hello hello um, so I started sanding the piece down and the wood's come up really nice. So, um, I am so sorry, Chris Donner, about the hot pink. I am really sorry. I'll do that on another piece. The reason I didn't go for hot pink is because I want to keep some of this nice wood. Um, some of it I can't keep because there are some, there is some damage which I've filled with Dixie mud. So that's all been filled. So it's a nice smooth surface. The same on the, always happens when I go live, my dogs decide to bark. I've got four dogs, so um, there'll be a bit of barking. Um, so I filled some of the holes with Dixie mud here and some of the wood was um, chipped away. Um, it's not actually, it could be a veneer. I think it's a veneer, but it's got this really cool design where it curves round the corners. They're not, they're not corners. They are curvy, which is pretty cool. I thought that was cool. So, I've started sanding the top down and where the struts that would have been, they, they would have been like two uprights that would have held a mirror at some point. I never bought it with the mirror. Um, the mirror wasn't, wasn't even there. I just thought it was a little low sideboard. So I found these little holes on the top. So I filled those and sand, started sanding the wood and the wood's really pretty. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep some of the wood. I'm going to do a bit of a wood and paint combo, I think, with this. And this was only decided literally yesterday. And then I was still going with a hot pink. I was going to do peony um, every time. I know, Marlene, what is it with my dogs? Maybe I need to, like, maybe I need to shut them in, like, the upstairs or something. If it's not the kids, it's the dogs. The kids will be here next week. That's going to be an absolute treat for you all because the kids will be on their Easter holiday next week. So they've got a fortnight off. So for the next two lives that I do, the kids are going to be here. So I might get some kind of paint party going with the kids. 
I might get some, I might get the kids just to like throw some paint around or something. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Funny for you, but not funny for me when I've got to clean it all up. Right. If you haven't watched me before, I do talk nonsense quite a lot of the time. So, um, apologies about that. Um, so, the colour that I'm using is... Dun, 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 apricot. So, you want me to do a live with the kids. All right, Christina, but do not hold me responsible for what happens with those children. Kids, dogs, I'll do it. I will do it. You know I'll do it, but... Oh, God. So, um, apricot. Show me some love for apricot. I think this is a little bit of an underused colour. They'll steal the show. Charming. Um, this is the Faf Design show. It's not the feral children show. Um, you, you will show me some love for apricot. Do it. Now, Chris Dorner. I want to see a heart there. So, um, I'm going apricot. The reason being, this wood is quite an orangey tone. So, I think with the hot pink against... With the orange tone, mm, not feeling it. So I'm gonna go a little pastely number. I'm gonna go a little pastely number. I'm gonna do some um, some wood slash apricot combo with this. Still not 100% sure of the design yet. It's probably gonna evolve as I go. And what that roughly translates for in my terms is wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Um, so that's that. I might, I really wanted to do something with the silk screen stencils with this um, Western Boho stencil. I don't know whether to somehow replicate this design or one of these across the top. It is a mid century piece. Yes, it is. It's a very low mid century piece. Can you see? How low can you go? How low can you go? There you go. It's got little tapered legs, which are going to be it. I'm going to keep those wood, I think, because there's no damage to those. But I've got to somehow cleverly disguise the bits that I've filled, the areas that I've filled. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Wing it. So if you haven't seen these stencils, these silk screen stencils from Dixie Bell, they are amaze balls. This one I love. Um, it's called Western Boho. You get three designs in each pack. So three sheets that are this size. And they've got different designs on that you can mix and match and use in different ways. So I love stuff like this. So I'm hoping that I can somehow incorporate it. But I just, I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, maybe somehow make this similar type thing. Maybe even like... You see these little chevron -y bits here? Maybe make that in some kind of tape, masking tape thing. I don't know. I don't know yet. So anyway, what I'm definitely going to have to do is paint the draw fronts because there were some irregular damage. Yeah, I think I, I'm with you on the drop cloth. I did think about maybe a little bit of white off white with it as well so who hasn't used the stencils why trish come on get the stencils they are awesome so i wasn't going to show you the stencils i was just going to like flip them in front of the camera but um so basically um the silk screen stencils are different to a standard stencil so if you struggle with normal stencils these are you going to be a lifesaver so they are different for a couple of reasons the first one being they are oh, come on clark get with it they have an adhesive backing, so you peel this off and stick it on wherever you're stenciling. So that's awesome thing number one. So they they stick. So um, if you, like I say, if you struggle with stencils moving or sticking them down with tape, you don't have to worry about that with these because they will stick down on their own. The second thing that differs about these is that the negative space, so the space where you put the paint here, it's silk screen, it's not a gap. So it's a thin mesh where you have to force the paint through. Um, you get in the pack, which isn't in this pack. Oh, it is, hang on. Bear with. I think it is anyway. Mm. 
Nope, it isn't. Um, hang on. Where's the little tool in the jibby? Thing in the jibby. Oh, I just tidied my workshop up as well. Oh, hang on. I can see one. Hang on. I'm still here. This. So you get one of those in the pack. Um, that is like a squeegee tool. So instead of dabbing the paint on with a brush in the, in the negative space, you know, in the holes, instead of doing that, you can do that if you want to, if that's your preferred method. But um, basically... Oh, so awkward isn't it trying to show you so basically you lay this down wherever you know your sheet and then you dab a little bit of paint on and then you squeeze it through the gaps and what it leaves is a like crisp line more crisp than you could ever imagine um in fact i did do a comparison between a standard stencil which i still love i've got absolutely loads of normal stencils and a silk screen stencil on my YouTube channel, there is a live video that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel um, and that shows you the difference and the different types of effects. So the difference is, say for example, <clears throat> this one. Can you see how detailed that is? I mean, you would really struggle to get a really, really crisp line with all that detail in there on a standard stencil. But with the silkscreen stencils, you that detail isn't lost. It's not blurry. You don't have the problem with the with the sheet moving because obviously it's stuck down, and you force the paint through that little through the gaps with your little squeegee tool. Um, and the and the, the it's so crisp and so precise. Uh, these are awesome. And there's loads and loads of different designs as well. So there's that one, which is mosaic. And then you get three designs in there. There's um, mandala. There's western boho. There's one with flowers on. I can't remember them all. But if you go to the link above my head and click on um, bells and whistles and then silk screen stencils, you can see all of the different designs there. And you can reuse these. So you don't get one use out of them and the adhesive doesn't go. You can reuse these up to like 10, 12 times. And even after that, they are mine is still sticky so all you have to do is rinse them under a tap to make sure no paint gets stuck in the little bits um rinse them off put them back on the plastic backing and pop them back in your pack and you can reuse them loads of different times so they are mega honestly i absolutely love these silk screen stencils i want to use them all the time so that's that anyway we went a little off track then so um, with this kind of wood, I'll get back to what I was actually going to show you today. Um, with this kind of type of wood, I don't know what type of wood this is. I don't know, but it's orangey and obviously it's been scuff sanded and I'm using a pale colour. So the first thing that I need to do with this, which is what I've done over here already. Where are you here? Is I have used Boss. So Boss is, um amazing product it's a water-based primer comes in three different colors so you've got gray you've got white and you've got clear and it is um a stain blocking primer it also blocks odors so if you have a problem piece with bleed through if you're doing whites or creams or pay all your pale colors really and you've got a problem with the tannins coming through out of the wood and into your paint this is the product that you need so the color of the the boss depends on really the color that you're going to be finishing your piece with so if you're using in your white spectrum and creams off whites creams drop cloth cotton fluff those kind of things you need the white boss um if you are using pretty much any of the pastel shades so i've got apricot today things like in the spectrum of <coughs> excuse me mint julep um come on give me some more pastels my brain's not working uh, um <coughs> your grays 
so driftwood um those kind of colors of that that sort of pale pastel spectrum you need the gray and then the clear is um pretty amazing product because if you still want a distressed piece but you're worried about bleed through um or if you wanted to do a, a design where oh yeah reds with gray as well cheers chris donna um if you wanted to do like a design where perhaps you want to show part of the wood or if you wanted to distress your piece um <coughs> your clear is brilliant for that because you can use the stain blocking properties with the clear without compromising the piece underneath so without having a color a colored primer underneath if that makes sense so for example where you might use the clear is somewhere like here now i have taped off so this is the front of the drawer the big like wide drawers and then the cur the, the, the curve around the corner and then there's a join where i've taped off i'm a massive fan of peekaboo drawers so i love putting something on the sides here um in keeping with the sort of wood paint combo what I thought I might do is maybe put some of the silk screen stencil here, perhaps. So I don't want to go sort of too crazy on the front. So I thought I might put one perhaps here. So this orangey wood <coughs> is definitely going to bleed through if I put, say, white or cream or like drop cloth on the side here. So what I would do is I'd put a couple of coats of boss, of clear boss, over here. And then I could stencil onto the top of that, which means the stencil, the, the white coloured paint on the stencil wouldn't have the bleed through coming through. So that's a good example of when you'd use clear boss. Um, I just saw a yeah, question. Dixie Bell, I've got it. Chris Dawn has got it. So uh, you wouldn't need to use a bleed through primer if you're doing any of the darks necessarily um, because you don't get bleed through with dark colours. So boss. It's always a good idea to use or keep to one side or have a special brush for boss. Because um, one of the chip brushes, they're really, really good value for money. Um, I'm going to use this one because I am going to wash it straight away afterwards because I want a really, really smooth finish. So I actually really like painting in boss. I like, I like, it's just really satisfying. And can you see the piece behind me? The red and black piece. So that piece has just finished and I've just popped the reveal on my um, Facebook page, which by the way, I'm about 50 or 60 people off hitting 5,000 followers on my Facebook page. So if you get a second, if you go to Faf Designs, which is tagged above my head, and like and follow my page um, so that I can hit my, my target by the end of the week, I'd love that. I'd really love that. Um, so, yeah, the piece behind, a little bit different to my normal style, but I really love doing it. And if you struggle with blending, you need to get yourself the best dang brush because that bad boy is awesome for blending. Right, so, boss. So to get a smooth finish, um, obviously your primer needs to be also smooth. Um, the good news about Boss is that it sands really well. So if you do happen to get a little bit of texture in the Boss, um, you can go in with your, where am I? I've got everything to hand for you guys, just to show you. You can go in, it's also got a dog hair on it. You can go in with your Dixie Bell sanding sponge and give it a good sand and it goes super smooth. Really, really smooth. So. This wood is really, really thirsty. It's really, really dry. And I've had to sand the majority of the old finish off because the varnish was a bit flaky um, and chipped. So obviously I didn't want that to, to come through to the finish of my piece because 
I think mid-century always works quite well in a sort of like a, a very sleek, smooth finish. And I did one coat last night on the other two drawers and this morning I noticed that there was bleed through. So when that happens, all you need to do is apply another coat. I mean, I normally do two coats anyway, to be on the safe side, because I'm a two coats kind of gal. So um, I always would put two coats on especially with orange tone woods or ready tone woods where I definitely know it's going to be a problem. So I've done two coats on this drawer that you can see and this is the first coat going on but I just wanted to show you how easy boss is to apply. So it's a little bit like when you're painting with normal paint as in you sort of lay it off to make it as smooth as you can. So again, I'm going to sand in between coats with this to get a superior finish and um, that will make sure I've got full coverage and it'll also make sure it's definitely not going to bleed through. I can already see it coming through here. The orangeness is coming through. Has anybody got any sunshine yet? I don't know if you can hear the birds behind, well, in the background. They're not behind me, well they are technically, they're outside. Um, I've got the both the double doors open to my workshop. The dogs are sunbathing on the decking. And it's going to be, there's a mini heat wave here in the UK and what that means is we've got sunshine for two days before it's probably going to go like minus two again and start snowing. There was snow on the deck in last week. So, um, yeah, a, 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 mini, a, heat, a mini heat wave. That's basically when we get, we get a bit of sunshine a day or two and then it goes miserable again in the UK. So that's Boss. One coat, awesome coverage and that will be drying in the sunshine and then i am going to i'll put another oh kick, nearly kicked you over then i'll put another coat on um put another coat on later on <coughs> so that's boss easy peasy and really the knowing when to prime and when you don't need to prime really comes with experience there is no set rule um your warm tone woods generally bleed um and and you know mahogany um things like that you know your warmer tone so orangey and and ready woods um but there is no such thing as too much prep so if you are in any doubt get your boss out that's whoa i've just invented a slogan if you're in doubt get your boss out it's it's a really really good product to have in your toolkit um i am going to approach dixie bell with that slogan because what do you think chris donna have i just have i just have i just happened upon something um i've just seen a comment silk has the equivalent oh have you is jackie on it just looks like you're on it um did you like that catchphrase chris donna <laughs> oh god what is wrong with me um it's a great slogan um so yeah if you if you are in doubt you can't you can't over prep um it's always better to you know be safe than sorry basically and i've done it before where i've painted something and i thought it's not going to bleed and i've thought i've been okay and then a couple of days later you start to see little brown patches so for this for what it's worth for how easy it is to whack a coat of primer on just do it and just make sure you wash your brush afterwards or you can go to chris dorner's page and she'll show you how to wash a brush wow i'm i'm blown away with chris dorner's tips honestly it's 
it's changed my brush's life. So look at this. This is washed the Chris Dawn away. Now, this is what my brushes. Oh, I can't even show you where my poop to one is because it's it's in it's soaking. So um my brushes get hammered and this has come up a charm. It's really soft. So yeah. Uh, you need to go and see what Christiana does to um, make her brushes clean because it is genius. And if anybody's got kids, you will have what you need in the house to clean your brushes. You've given it away, Chris Dorner, in the comments. So yeah, she uses a head lice comb to, br to brush the bristles and leave it soaking in, in brush cleaner and um, <laughs> wait for the Connie and Chris Dorner show. Um... And then brush it when you've soaked it in brush cleaner and I'm shocked. I'm shocked at the outcome, to be honest. It was amazeballs. Right, so this, this bad boy has had two coats of boss on it. So awesome for going straight on top of here with the apricot. But what I am gonna do is, <coughs> Connie, maybe you need to go live with me tomorrow. I'm here, I'm here all day until school pick up. So I'm just giving it a um, a little sand with this. These, these puppies are awesome. So these are really inexpensive sanding pads. They look tiny, but you can get a lot of usage out of these. And um, I love these for sanding in between coats to get a smooth finish. Oh, why aren't I invited? Are you talking to me? But you have to paint the pink. It is pink in a fashion. Apricot is pink. I'll invite myself. I'll do it. Okay, so that's smooth. Smooth. No peony. It's not going to work. It's not going to work with the wood. I've had um, I've had this dilemma. I didn't sleep too good last night. And all I was going around in my head was peony, plum crazy, apricot, flamingo. Maybe I'll do a mix. Maybe I'll bring back raspberry renovare. But it's got to be apricot to go with the wood, I think. I am sorry. But it's just how it's going to be. I'll save hot pink for another piece. Pick a different piece. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can, but I won't get it prepped in time for tomorrow. Mama got to sleep. There we go. So I'm just using a bit of shop cloth to get the dust off while I'm talking absolute nonsense. So hopefully you can see that's smooth. Now I'm going to paint it because that's really what you want me to do, don't you? That's what you've tuned in to see. You haven't tuned in to see me talking nonsense. Don't let the people down. I'm not letting the people down. I'm, maybe I'm just letting you down. Who is the boss now? There is no boss. It's a free for all. No one knows what's happening. No one knows what's going on. I'm gonna kick this. I'm just well chuffed with this stool. It's doing wonders for my back. So, um, apricot. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. No one can. No one can stop me. What are you saying now? Oh no, I've just put paint on the screen. <laughs> I've just put a big blob of apricot on my phone screen. Um, finish your piece of the live tomorrow and work on mine. All right, or I might have it even finished done today. You never know. No, I won't. I won't. Right. Um, actually, let's use this one. So, for a perfectly smooth finish with chalk mineral paint, which you can do. Oh, I need to move this. This is ridiculous. Don't judge the mess. Overachiever. Whatever. Um, oh, man alive. We've got, I've got cables here. I've got a big sanding hose. 
Hello, Gina from Florida. Right. What I've actually tuned, you tuned in to see me do, get a smooth finish with chalk mineral paint. So what you need for this is a Dixie Bell synthetic brush of your choice. Different ones work for different people. But my two favourite brushes are these bad boys. So you've got the mini and you've got the medium oval. They are both awesome brushes. I love them. I love, I, I love these brushes. Um, but today I'm going to use the mini because it is freshly cleaned um, and knit combed. So it's knit free. It's got, I've got a knit free brush. If you've only just tuned in, welcome to the party. Um, I comb my brushes with knit combs um, as recommended by Chris Dorner and it works a charm to clean them. So um, it's a knit free brush and um, I have prepped this with two coats of boss, grey boss to stop bleed through. And the other thing you're gonna need is your mister bottle with water in, it's just water. Yeah, knit free brush. So um, basically, give your piece a very light spritz, not too much. And what you're going to do is whack it on. Now, apricot being obviously one of the paler shades, it's probably going to take at least two coats to cover. What the paint does, oh uh, no, that's not the one. What the water does is help the paint be super, super smooth and glide across the surface hang on got a bit in it okay so that's pretty smooth and then the last thing i do is a really really light mist and just lay off in the same direction i'll catch that bit in a bit so that's all you need to do and leave it. Obviously the chalk paint has quite a long open time, especially if you're misting it with water, but a lot of people just keep working it, keep working it, but you don't need to. You just get the coverage on and just lay it off with a really, really light hand. So grip your paintbrush low down. You don't want, you don't want any slappy action and, um, just really, really, really lightly lay it off in ex in the same direction. So not like that. So you don't go down and then up. You want it all, all going down. So that means the paint is all going in the same direction and that'll ensure that you get the smoothest finish possible. So again, you can always sand between coats, which I probably will do to just to get that really, really slick sort of perfect finish. But that's slappy action. You want another demo of that? You don't want that. You want that. That gives you a bit more control when you hold it down, down there. You don't want that. You want that. There you go. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the people in white coats will be coming for me soon. Especially if you keep egging me on. So, um, I'm just going to try and get that on there. Just show you again for the people at the back. Light spritz. Get your apricot on. This colour's apricot. It's, it's really pretty. It's not hot pink, but it's pink. It's, it's in the pink family. And I feel like I couldn't let Chris Dorner down totally. So I feel like this is this is a compromise. This is like when couples compromise. I feel like we've compromised. Light spritz, really light spritz. Don't go too heavy with the water. And lay it off. Oh, I missed a bit there. And a bit there. What a rubbish demonstration. 
I'd get a refund if I were you. So um, that's it. That's all there is to it, to a smooth finish. There we go. So that's that. And I've got four of those to do, so it's not going to take me much, much time at all. And then I've just got to figure out what to do with the top. So I'll show you. Let me know if you've got any... Hold on. Let me move this away. Oh. <clears throat> Let me see if you can... Oh, this stool was worth every penny. I love that I'm not on the floor. I love that I'm... I'm mobile. Got paint all over my screen. Okay. So that's the top of the piece there. It's quite long. Can you see? And it's a it's like a little low. Well, I'm going to turn it into a low sort of sideboard unit. That sideboard is a standard sideboard height, so you can see it is quite a bit lower. But this would have had two uprights with a mirror on it. The mirror was never in question. Um, I never had the mirror and I wouldn't want the mirror either. I'm prone to breaking stuff. So where am I going? There you go. So I don't even know if you can see. There's two little holes which would have held the mirror like an upright. And I've had to fill them with Dixie mud and sand them so they're smooth. So I need some kind of design that will allow partial wood to peek through as well as the... Um, covering those holes up basically so um let me know if you've got any ideas because that would be grand um and that's it for today um mirrors and glass yeah i i'm the same chris dorner i don't like it um and also then you've got the the problem of if someone buys it and you have to courier it that's more stress and i don't, don't like it makes me panicky so um <coughs> that's basically what i've covered um as well as a lot of silly things i've covered boss so boss for bleed through um i've covered a smooth finish with um uh apricot is the color that i'm using um tape off some diagonal areas and do the patterns i thought about diagonally kind of or maybe like a mimic of the um part of the pattern of the silk screen <coughs> excuse me so maybe something like that. Um, I don't know what you're on about, Jackie. If you lost it as well. Um, so yeah, that's that, basically. Um, coming to you from this sunny part of the world today. And next week, next week the kids will be here. The kids will be at home. So that'll be, that'll be hilarious. Will it? Maybe for you. Um, so if you could pop to my page, like I say, I'm about 50 or 60 people off hitting the 5k, which is just a drop in the ocean for the likes of your paint celebrities like Chris Dorna and people. But for me, for little old me, new brand ambassador and all around jester, that's quite a good number for me. So, um, I'd be well pleased if I can get to 5k by the end of the week, which I think I'll do it with your help. So, um... Yeah, that's it from me. I'll be here next week. Cheers, Chris Dorner, as always. Speak to you in a short while, probably. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.